In the remote Gildan Peninsula on the Siberian coast, archaeologists made a remarkable discovery, unearthed by strong winds. Known for its ancient archaeological finds, this area near the Kara Sea has now revealed artifacts further north than ever before. Hi and welcome back to our channel. Watch the full video because we have a great surprise for you at the end of the video. Let's continue. The region, with freezing winds and permafrost, is under examination for permafrost loss, as the icy terrain thaws due to melting permafrost and harsh winds. Previously unknown artifacts are surfacing, providing insights into the ancient people of the area. Among these findings is a bronze Iranian cup dating back to the Middle Ages, a rare discovery in the Arctic and the Northeast. The artifacts offer valuable information about prehistoric people's burial practices, lifestyles, and belief systems. The recent find includes a bronze cap, ceramic, and iron items, shedding light on the ancient inhabitants who left evidence of their presence. Notably, the peninsula has seen more intriguing discoveries, such as the lavish burials of nine children found in 2017. Adorned with ornate dresses and decorations, these solitary burials hint at high social ranks, possibly even princely status. In a subsequent discovery, a young boy, believed to be of high rank, was unearthed with furs, iron knives, and more. Adding to the mysteries, the region yielded animal bones from various species, sparking theories about unusual behavior. With bones dating back 10,000 to 50,000 years ago, the findings suggest a concentration of adult mammals, raising questions about the indigenous people's practices and lifestyle in this remote area. While some of the discovered animal bones, including those of mammoths and cave lions, were infants, indicating a birthing site, others suggested it was also a location for the animal's final days. The collection, featuring various species like horses, muskoxen, bears, rabbits, wolves, and reindeer, also included bird bones, hinting at a multi-species necropolis. Although further excavation is needed, this site in Arctic Eurasia is recognized as the largest single urban collection, poised to become the world's largest. A significant aspect of this discovery is the revelation that many of these animals traveled farther north than previously believed, reshaping scientists' understanding of extinct creatures. Pavel Kosintsev, the expert leading the discovery, posits that the cave lion and brown bear's territory in western Siberia expanded about 71 degrees of northern latitude between 10,000 and 50,000 years ago, challenging prior assumptions. The unprecedented find of bones from unknown species adds to the intrigue. While the site's purpose remains unclear, a prevailing theory suggests the presence of a nutritional source, like a salt lick. Notably, these recent revelations parallel other perplexing discoveries, such as a one-armed ancient warrior unearthed in 2014 on the Tara River's bank in western Siberia. The warrior, likely from the 11th century, stood at an exceptional height of 5 feet 9 inches, defying norms of his time. Found with a severed arm and crushed shoulder, the warrior, buried with respect and ritual, provides insight into historical social and political norms. The accompanying artifacts, including armor and a bronze mirror, affirm his high rank, shedding light on societal dynamics during his lifetime. The individuals discussed in the Russian newspaper Rosa's Kia Gazette were characterized by their independence and strong determination. The article suggests that one of them, likely trained as a warrior from childhood, lived a life marked by successful combat. Despite initially viewing the Russian Empire with skepticism, they eventually joined through negotiation rather than coercion. Surprisingly, a significant discovery came to light almost 19 years ago in the Ukrainian village of Zelenir, where Russian archaeologists unearthed copper-clad mummies. The excavation, which spanned over 15 years, gradually unraveled the mysteries surrounding these unique burials. In 2002, objections from locals in the Yamal Peninsula temporarily halted the scientists' work. However, when resumed in 2014, they made a profound realization about the findings. 
34 graves were unearthed, with 11 bodies discovered in shallow pits just 34 kilometers from the Arctic Circle. Strikingly, five of the 11 mummies were entirely covered in copper plating and adorned with various furs, including those from reindeer, beaver, wolverine, and even bear. The significance of such lavish ornamentation remains unclear, but it is inferred that these individuals held political or social importance in ancient societies. The discovery site, Linnea, was a medieval crossroad for trading goods. Curiously, all the bodies exhibited shattered skulls, suggesting a deliberate act, possibly driven by superstition, to ward off mysterious spells believed to emanate from the deceased. Natalia Fyodorova from the Ural branch of the Russian Academy of Sciences theorizes that the skull mutilation served as a superstitious protection measure. The purposeful smashing of skulls, reminiscent of practices witnessed in Bulgaria, where snakes were driven through the heart to prevent the dead from turning into vampires, reflects ancient beliefs. Among the eleven mummies, seven adults and four children, predominantly male, only one was female. All children were masked and bound with copper hoops. While the purpose behind the copper coverings remains uncertain, scientists conclude that the accidental mummification occurred due to the protective properties of copper. The excavation also yielded various ancient artifacts, such as an iron knife, silver medallions, a bronze bird figurine, and a Persian ball dating back to the 10th century. Additionally, decorative pieces like belt buckles, bracelets, and earrings made of silver were discovered. Alexandra Pilipenko from the Institute of Psychology and Genetics is conducting genetic tests on the mummies to gain insights into their origin and way of life. Subsequently, scientists discovered another mummy, this time a female, during continued excavations at Linnea. Known as the Polder Princess, she was found alongside a man and children. While her social standing remains enigmatic, her well-preserved hair and eyelashes challenged the initial theory that the necropolis was exclusively for males. At around 35 years old at the time of her death, the female mummy's face was intact, though her body was cocooned in birch bark. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel and win a wonderful coffee cup. And remember to like, comment, and share the video.